welcome to the Madam Woman Creek Art Center and to our 26th annual jury show. This show, like many of our shows throughout the year, is open to any artist who chooses to enter. But the jury show is a special show and we are pleased to have received entries from some of the area's finest artists showcasing their many talents, featuring a wide variety of media and styles, most of which are offered for sale at a variety of prices to fit the budget of any art lover. The juried show will be on display at the gallery until October 18th, 2020. The gallery is located at Smallwood State Park in Marbury, Maryland, and is free and open to the public, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Before I introduce to you this year's juror, I want to say a special thank you to our members, friends, and benefactors. I also want to thank our very special sponsor for this show, the Community Bank of the Chesapeake. I am very pleased to introduce to you Susan Chapelier. Susan holds a Bachelor of Arts from the University of Bridgeport in Connecticut. She also holds a Master's degree in Studio Art from the University of Maryland. Susan was a professor at the College of Southern Maryland where she helped design the fine arts facility and develop the curriculum for ceramic arts. Articles on ceramics authored by Susan have appeared in magazines and books nationwide. After more than 30 years of teaching, Susan is now retired, but she remains a well-respected art authority in Southern Maryland. I present to you, Susan Chapelier. Welcome to the Madam Woman Creek Art Center. I'm Sue Chapelier, and I'm here to jury the 26th annual exhibit um, it's been a pleasure, really strong work has been submitted, and I'd like to congratulate everybody who submitted something. Welcome to the 26th annual exhibit here at the Mattawoman Creek Arts Center. I'll preface my remarks by saying I am so surprised to see so many wonderful submissions given the pandemic. I didn't know if that would diminish entries, but obviously people maybe have more time to do more work, and, and I'm very pleased with the quality of work that I see, and it was very difficult to make choices. Um, my selection for first place is this particular piece. Um, I found that it's really hard to walk away because it invites so much interpretation, not only in the uh, individual figurative compositional elements, but also just in the, in the mystery in the background. Um, there are so many questions, you know, why are the shoes different? Uh, is this person an addict? Is she an enabler? Uh, is she helping people? Um, you know, why are the extra arms there? There's so many questions to be answered, and I'm sure that this piece is going to command a lot of discussion as people come and see this uh, great show. Um, I also feel like that the black palette is particularly effective and uh, it forces us to concentrate on the content. This second place winner was executed using an unusual photographic process. And like with the first place winner, I'm really drawn to it because of the mystery that it provides. Um, you know, why, why isn't the branch in the water? And what do these metal components have to do with the whole arrangement? Um, the graded color, I think, is really wonderful and supports the delicacy of the entire composition. Um, it's just a wonderful piece. It was an easy selection.
This third place winner, the piece uh, uh, is represented, consists of multiple segments that are affixed to a substantial wooden base. And like with the other two winners, the viewer is invited to explore the relationship between the parts that make up the whole. Um, every surface is very active, and um, I feel like this smooth arch provides a visual rest area. Um, it's very mysterious, and I hope to meet the artist because I have lots of questions about what the parts represent individually and um, how they come together as a cohesive whole and a message, perhaps.